Jewel. No one in history has done what I've done. What the? Let me catch y'all up. Oh, my gentle Jesus. Houston, uh, we... That did in the production. This has been a lifetime in the making, y'all. To buy me for me, with me, starring me, co-starring me, directing me. This is the younger me. Photography is me, associate director, which I associate with myself because I am the director. In other words, me. That's the name of this, me. The whole time you're watching this is me. Nothing but me. Of course, oh. I didn't know how my life would turn out back then. But it's been a journey. Okay. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy me. So that's the younger me before I knew any of the stuff I talk about now. I said during my journey, if I ever found out the truth, I would be the worst secret keeper ever. And when I found out the truth in the Everglades when I had my awakening, hopefully I'm holding up my side of the bargain. The rest is history and it's been documented in my own words using my own footage over a lifetime. Part of that documentation has been a social media time capsule. Started with YouTube, went to Facebook, then went to Twitter, then Instagram, and finally TikTok. So I've been documenting this for over seven years, and each post is to help others on their spiritual journey and also document my progress on mine. You can look at each of these social networks as a lion that forms Voltron. If you don't know about Voltron, five lions come together to form a super being, and when we unite, who can stop us? Just like nothing can stop Voltron. Voltron uses a sword, we're going to swing a sword of truth and also use a camera or light that makes all the roaches run, the only weapons we need. And during those years, I've been active in studying the Matrix. For example, Project 27 is a 27-day road trip I took from Fort Lauderdale to San Diego to get a gauge of the awareness of the United States in certain areas and see if people were awakening or going through the shift. During that trip, I got stuck in San Diego because I ran out of money. I happened to scrape up enough to get back to Pensacola, and then eventually I made my way to Tennessee in the volunteer state where the path of totality was going across the United States and happened to get this footage. They say it won't happen for another 400 years. And that footage happened to be shot in Crossville, Tennessee. Each post on social media is like a brick that I've used to build a foundation for the book that I created called The 100 Degree Challenge, which I call Spiritual Common Sense. It's created to either be true or false and open up the possibilities and it's based on years of observation and study within this matrix. Now I'm taking this public and showing people the 100 degree challenge and the divinity that's within them and recording this with the reality show called The Truman Show. And you can see this house made of brick and compare it to the house made of stick and house made of wood. So if you want to stand against the shift and be on the wrong side of history, then you better have your house in order because the truth is never scared of light. Let's see what it can do.